Senior Pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church in Oklahoma City. It's Monday morning, the 8th of March, and we're here for morning prayer today. I just want to say happy birthday to a couple of folks. I want to say happy birthday to uh, Jonathan McGuire in Belzoni, Mississippi, the Delta. I know exactly where you are. I've been there so many times. But anyways, so happy birthday to you, Jonathan. And also, yesterday was Judy Rogers' birthday. And I just had to say happy birthday to her. Happy birthday, Judy. We have lots of memories of Judy. We Our kids cut their teeth on her music and stuff. And it was wonderful. Love Judy and love Wayne. And by the way, you can look in the, um, the uh, header of this morning prayer and you can find the link to Judy Rogers' music. So happy birthday, Jonathan. Happy birthday, Judy. Okay, that's it. There you go. Going to pray for you, both of you all in just a minute after we get done with uh, a hymn reading and Bible reading. So we're just working our way through the Trinity hymnal. Just a verse or two from each of the different hymns as we go through. And today we are at hymn 65, Before Jehovah's Awesome Throne. Before Jehovah's awesome throne, all nations bow with sacred joy. Know that the Lord is God alone. He can create and he destroy. He can create and he destroy. Wide as the world is your command, vast as eternity, your love firm as a rock, your truth must stand when rolling years shall cease to move, when rolling years shall cease to move. That was hymn number 65. It was uh, Isaac Watts' rendition of Psalm 100. It's, that was just the first and the fifth verse. Well, in our Bible reading, we're working our way through Proverbs, and today we are at Proverbs 30. Proverbs 30. The words of Agur, son of Jacob, the oracle. The man declares, I am weary, O God. I am weary, O God, and worn out. Surely I am too stupid to be a man. I have not the understanding of a man. I have not learned wisdom, nor have I knowledge of the Holy One. Who has ascended to heaven and come down? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has wrapped up the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? What is his son's name? Surely you know. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you, and you be found a liar. Two things I ask of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is needful for me, lest I be full and deny you. And say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. Do not slander a servant to his master, lest he curse you and you be held guilty. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. There are those who are clean in their own eyes, but are not washed of their filth. There are those who lofty are their eyes, how lofty are their eyes, how high their eyelids lift. There are those whose teeth are swords, whose fangs are knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters, give and give. Three things are never satisfied, four never say enough. Sheol, the barren womb, the land that never satisfied with water, and the fire that never says enough. The eye that mocks a father and scorns to obey a mother will be picked out by the ravens of the valley and eaten by the vultures. Three things are too wonderful for me. Four I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship on the high seas, and the way of a man with a virgin. This is the way of an adulteress. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done no wrong. Under three things the earth trembles. Under four it cannot bear up. A slave when he becomes king, and a fool when he is filled with food, an unloved woman when she gets a husband, and a maidservant when she, when she displaces her mistress. Four things on earth are small, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they provide food in the summer. The rock badgers are a people not mighty, yet they make their home in the cliffs. The locusts have no king, yet all of them march in rank. The lizard you can take in your hands, yet it is in king's palaces. Three things are stately in their tread. Four are stately in their stride. The lion, which is mightiest among beasts and does not turn back from any before any. The strutting rooster, the he-goat, and a king whose army is with him. 
If you have been foolish, exalting yourself, or if you have been devising evil, put your hand on your mouth. For pressing milk produces curds, pressing the nose produces blood, and pressing anger produces strife. That was Proverbs 30 on this Monday, the 8th of March. Let's pray. Lord God, we rejoice with Judy and with Jonathan. We are so grateful for them, Lord, and, and that you have blessed them with this, this past, with their life, and that you have provided for them day by day. You have held them in your hands throughout the, the weeks and months and years. And I pray that they would have a renewed sense of your presence and of your sustaining grace and of your providence in their life this coming year, that it would be full and fresh, and that this, this coming year, Lord, they would look up and know that you are God, and it would cheer their hearts. Lord, we pray for all of us that you would be with us. We pray for those who are sick, thinking of those in our congregation. We pray for Cheryl and Jim as he cares for her. Uh, we pray for Daniel. We pray for um, uh, Vicki. We pray for many, many others, Lord. We also ask you to be with Denise, Matt and Kathleen, and Edward. And for all of us, Lord, we pray that you would help us um, as... Proverbs said, every word of God proves true. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him. May we be those who take refuge in you. Do not add to his words lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. May we be those who hear your word and uh, receive it and not try to add to it, Lord. We ask you that you would uh, strengthen us through this coming week. We pray, oh Lord God, that you would be with um, a military chaplain, Chaplain uh, Colonel Wiley Collins, that you would Bless him in his work there at Joint Forces Headquarters in Alabama, in Montgomery, Alabama. We ask you to provide him with the skill sets that he needs as a leader. And also, Lord, that you would open doors for him and his, uh, to be able to come in with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that you would provide new avenues for him to be able to serve you there. We pray, Lord, for a five-year-old child at a Compassion International Center in the Philippines as he is preparing for surgery to remove multiple masses in his kidney, kidney, liver, and spleen. Oh, dear God, we pray for him, that you would heal him, and that you would provide for him. Lord, I pray for all of us again, as we heard in Proverbs 30, that prayer about wealth and poverty. Two things I ask of you. I ask of you for us, that, uh, we would, uh, that you would deny them not to us before we die. Remove far from us falsehood and lying. Give us neither poverty nor riches. Feed us with the food that is needful for us, let us, lest we be full and deny you or say and say, who is the Lord? Or lest we be poor and steal and profane the name of our God. Lord, these things we pray. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, uh, because you are good. And we know that we can commend ourselves to you, body and soul. And we are being uh, um we are being put into the hands of a good God who's a caring God. Thank you for hearing our prayer this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, that was morning prayer on this Monday morning, the 8th of March. And I'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing. And we'll just pick right up where we left off in Proverbs and so forth. Until then, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.